Hello, my name is Mariama Oluwahuje, and here are today's top stories. Get ready to hit the streets with me as I catch up with students on campus to find out what they're up to this summer. The Rutgers Day festivities on Bush campus were a ton of fun for the entire community. There was a spectacular turnout and our guests took advantage of the numerous activities. From face painting to glass blowing, there was something for everyone. Hello, this is Mariama Oluwahuje for the Global City. Now we all know that the U.S. is a melting pot of different cultures, ethnicities, and backgrounds. So it begs the question, what is American culture? Now we all have our differences, but there's one thing that almost every U.S. household has in common, and that's a TV sitting in their living rooms. Have you ever watched a musical and wondered about the preparation that takes place behind the scenes? Well, RUTV is here on the scene at the Rutgers Theatre Company's production of Homemade. We're about to provide you with an inside look on the rigorous set design that takes place long before opening night. What if I told you that you could be a millionaire tomorrow if you just took the time to clean your room? That's the stroke of luck that happened to a Georgia man recently. Gregory Jarrett found a lottery ticket worth $1 million while cleaning his room. Now, he bought the ticket back in January and had five correct numbers, but didn't know it was a big winner because it got lost in his mess. Talk about a huge surprise. Now, this certainly proves that tidiness does indeed pay off. These art camps are very motivational and it's great that these students have their staff and their parents encouraging them. Now we're going to check out a very special program that sends Rutgers students to the Shakespeare's Globe Theater. Let's check it out right now. Rear view cameras will soon come standard in all new cars, SUVs and most trucks. New rules from the Transportation Department will require that vehicles come with that feature by 2018. According to the U.S. government, backup accidents involving light vehicles cause an average of 210 deaths and 15,000 injuries a year. Those are your stories for today. I'm Mariama Oluwahuje. Thank you for watching.